One of the new features that came with version 2.1 of the Safeguard software is cluster patching. So in version 2.0, if you want to patch a cluster or do an update or whatever, then you have to patch each cluster node individually. And that is pretty much not a very nice thing to do because to do this, you have to destroy the cluster, patch each node individually, and then build up the cluster from scratch again. With 2.1, this is obsolete and you can just apply the patch to, uh, to the cluster and everything else will happen automatically. So let's see, if you have a cluster here, something like that, we have a three node cluster, as always, minimum number of nodes in a safeguard cluster is three. I'm going to show you now the procedure how to patch this cluster. So go back to settings and select updates. And updates le lets you upload a file, which we already have done here, so you don't see the upload procedure, but this is pretty pretty common. Once you have done this, you're going to see that the file was staged to, to the first cluster node, our primary, and that all the other nodes are listed here in that little screen. And if you click on distribute to cluster, the patch file will be automatically distributed to all the other cluster nodes. So that's the first thing to do, just click on Distribute to Cluster. And now you're going to see that all this file is now replicated to the, to the other cluster nodes. After the files have been distributed to the cluster nodes, the normal patch procedure will start. As usually, this may, may take a little time. Okay, so the distribution of the patch files to the, to the individual cluster nodes has completed and we can now continue to install the patch. Just click on install now. As you see, this patch here is just a point patch. It's, it's nothing particular in additional features. It's just a bug fix release and it will take you to the version 2.1.1.5849. And now you're going to see the normal standard maintenance node screen. This is usual as uh, when the cluster is now getting updates and it is important to know that the patch procedure will now start to upgrade the first node in the, in the cluster, which is usually the primary, and then it will start to, to continue with the next and the last remaining one. This will be in a sequence. This is a sequential order. This is nothing in parallel, so it will start with the first, continue with the second, and will finish with the third or whatever with the last nodes, depending how many nodes you have in your configuration. During this time, that may take some time. Just wait. Do not play around with the cluster and let it complete. Of course, while one cluster is being updated, you can still work with the other ones. It will not break your service. This is one additional important feature to know as well. But as you know, we just let it, let it continue here. We don't, we don't gonna play around with it. It's just important to know that you still uh, have a working service in your cluster during that update. Just to show you that the service still is up and running, if we close our client here, while this upgrade is performed on the first node, and we're going to log into the other node of the cluster, whatever, some other member, we got our, got our usual warning screen with, because of the certificates, but we can just select our standard credentials we are using here. And you see it is well, still available. You even can just go to the settings area and see what the cluster is doing here. It now shows you that there's an update in progress. Of course, the cluster is locked at this time, so nothing in the configuration cannot, can be changed. But you can still have some password or session requests still going on with the remaining nodes of the cluster that are not being updated currently. You see, number 214 two is being updated and the other ones are just pending updates for these nodes. This is very nice and you still work with zero downtime during a cluster update. Maybe we're just going to leave this screen open here because when the update process will, will be started on that node, this screen will switch to the maintenance mode screen as well. Okay, you see, we have been connected to this node, and now this node is going, is going to be patched. 
and now the screen has switched to the maintenance mode, mode screen as expected. And now the update, update is being applied. So, our patching has been completed and now we have to restart the desktop client as usual. So let's have a look how this would look like now. Okay, I, I instantly got a, got a message from the safeguard system that we now have a, a much more recent client available for download. We're going to skip this for a second. We're going to do this later. We just have a look on the cluster now. Okay, let's see what the our cluster looks like. Go to cluster management and not surprisingly it's still updating because there was only two nodes currently being patched and now it is mating for the last one. So this is the node we have been connected to where we sh saw this maintenance screen mode and this is our primary and this is still the outstanding node that is being patched currently. Okay, now the cluster patch operation has completed and all our, of our nodes have been upgraded. So if you click on here, you're going to see hopefully the version here. If it is not displayed, just run a health check. So it will be updating. Okay, now it's completed and you see here the new version we have, upgrade, have, have been upgraded to. Yeah, that's it. Just for your information, uh, we have three clusters here and this upgrade procedure in total took us around 30 to 40 minutes. So it really takes a little time. But as you have seen, it starts with the first node and then takes the second one until the last one. So it's a sequence, it's not nothing in parallel. And the most important thing the service of your requests or for your password management or the session management was always available during that, that update because of that sequential order there's always a majority in the cluster that is able to serve your requests.